in this video we will be covering how to install custom-made skins in Titanfall 2. This tutorial is split into four different sections, creating a backup, getting our custom skin we want to install, and then installing the set skin, and finally playing the game and making sure the skin is working. First, we want to make a backup of our game. This will come in useful if anything goes wrong or if we decide we want to uninstall the skin and restore the game to its original state. Without a backup, you would need to re-download the whole game to restore it, so it would be much easier to just have a copy of that original file somewhere instead. Okay, let's back it up. By default, there are two directories where you might have your game installed. If you have your game installed via Origin, it will be located under your C drive in Program Files x86, Origin Games, Titanfall 2, and that's Origin. If you have your game installed via Steam, it will be located under your C drive in Program Files x86, then Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Titanfall 2, and that's Steam. If both of these directories are empty, well, first make sure you have the game installed. And if you do, check to see where your respective client is installing your games. If those directories are empty, you likely have a different install path set for your games folder and you will need to find it yourself. Once inside the Titanfall 2 folder, we are going to navigate to R2, PAX, Win64, and inside it you want to find the pcstream.starpack file. This is the file we need to back up. It's the largest file in the directory, so we want to copy it and paste it into another safe location as a backup in the event we ever need it. That's creating backups. Next, we need to get a skin we want to install. In this case, we will go to the custom skins channel in No Skill Discord, and I will download this skin for the R97 gun. You can choose whichever you like. Now, you could also download and find skins outside of No Skill. They don't need to be specifically from our server, but for the convenience of this tutorial, that's where we are downloading it from. It's important to note that there are two types of skin files, and those are DDS and VTF. What are those? Well, these are file types that our creator can compile their skins into. Depending on which type you have, you will need to follow a different process for the installation. So, how do you know? In order to check which type you have, you can open the zip file of the skin and check out the file and folder structure. A good rule of thumb is to check if the zip contains the following three folders. 512, 1024, and 2048. If the zip has these folders, then you are in possession of a DDS skin type. You can even double check and see if the files inside those folders have a .dds extension. As we can see, they do. So that's a DDS skin. They are generally a lot easier to install and we will be able to just use a simple tool to add it into our game. If the files inside look different or have a different folder structure or most importantly have any files that end with a VTF extension, then that means you are in possession of a VTF skin type. Unfortunately, these will require a manual installation and you will need to have some basic knowledge of modding in Titanfall, understanding how to work with Valve's VTF and VMT files, a degree in quantum mechanics, so we don't have time to cover the manual installation today. But you don't have to worry, most skins that you will download will likely be in a DDS format. VTF skins were mostly used in the early days of skin modding and have since been used in very rare occasions. But if you do stumble across those, we do have a written guide on our wiki with a link in the description. Okay, onto the fun part, let's install the skin. To do that, we will need Pandora's Titanfall 2 skin tool, which we can get on GitHub. Again, link is below the video. There are two versions of this tool. Apart from two language options, English and Chinese, there is also a user version and a maker version. We are installing a skin, so we need to download one of the two user versions available. So choose your language and download the tool. We can now go ahead and extract the zip to a safe location. After that's done, open the folder and open the Titanfall 2 skin tool.exe file. Windows Smart Screen will show you a pop-up notifying you that the developer of the app is not identified, but this tool is safe to use, so we can just go ahead and click Run anyway. Now, because this is our first time running the tool, we will first need to set our game directory so the tool knows where to install the skin. To select the folder, we are going to go to the top menu and choose Set, Set Game Path. And we're going to navigate to our install folder like we discussed earlier, and we're going to select the Titanfall2.exe file and click Open. 
you should see the tool print a message saying that the game path was set successfully. And now we are ready to install our skin. To do that, we're going to click on the three dot button on the right side of the window and choose the skin zip we downloaded earlier. Note that you don't have to extract the zip. Instead, you just select it and click open. Once you see the file in the middle of the screen, we are ready to import the skin. And to do that, we are going to click the import skin button. Not the red X button, but the import skin button. Once clicked, you should see a pop-up that says successful installation. If you get an error saying that the access was denied, try rerunning the tool as administrator and that should fix your problem. And that's installing. We can now open our game and we should hopefully see the skin there. To check, we're going into multiplayer and under customize, I'm going to select my R97 loadout and there it is. The custom skin is working. So to recap what we did here, we created a backup of our game's files in the event something went wrong, we downloaded a skin from the NoSkill Discord server that we wanted to install, we learned about different skin types like DDS, VTF, and WTF, and we downloaded Pandora's Titanfall 2 skin tool from GitHub and learned how to install the skins. If you get stuck anywhere and you need help, check out our wiki as well as our Discord server for more info on that. And while you're there, check out our awesome skin repository that many great creators are contributing to. And now this video is going to cut to black prematurely while the audio is still going.